Hey, Chris here. Hello to everyone over at uh, Ford Truck Forums uh, and anybody who watches it on YouTube, consequently. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the old alternators. Uh, in specific, this one's from a 1985 Ford with a 6.9 liter diesel engine. And i uh, just going to go over the uh, connections that Ford used from the factory on them. So, mount the camera here quick. <clears throat> so, as you would see it in the truck, this is pretty much what your wiring harness would look like. Uh, we got the voltage regulator, uh, the harness uh, side that plugs in uh, and connects on the fender side, and then we've got what connects on the alternator. In addition, on the alternator side, you've got uh, on the stock harness uh, two wires that come out. This is for the uh, tachometer pickup on the, uh, on the, the front of the uh, injection pump timing cover. And those, for color reference, are green with yellow hashes and it looks like black with white hashes, as best I can tell from, from the old greasy coloring. So I'm just going to pull off the, uh, the loom here so you can see what goes on in here. If you've ever taken apart a Ford loom, it's amazing how many junctions and how messed up they make it inside that loom there. So for the alternator, there's really only a couple wires you need to worry about. And the tripod will give me my camera back. I'll show them to you. Alright. <laughs> so on the back of the alternator, there's really only two that you need. Uh, there is the battery connector, of course, uh, the battery terminal, which feeds up through a couple splices. Uh, this one feeds to the yellow, which feeds the body. But if we follow it up, it eventually comes to a uh, eyelet terminal. And that is typically, and I believe on this truck, it was also connected to the uh, battery side of the starter solenoid on the on the passenger side fender. The other wire on the alternator is the field wire. You can see the the labeling on the back here uh, for field and stator. The field is the one crosswise and the stator is the one parallel with the alternator shaft. The, the field wire is what uh, when it's energized uh, cranks up the alternator that it starts to output the voltage. If you jumper 12 volts to this terminal, the, the field terminal on the alternator, you'll full field it and you can test the alternator for output. Uh, that'll make it go 100% output so you don't want to be running that way too long, but uh, it's a good way to check if your alternator is physically charging or not. If we follow that wire all the way up the loom, you'll see it comes out, there's no splices on it, and it goes directly to the voltage regulator. We'll see if I can uh, Zoom in here so you can see the, the terminals, but they're labeled IASF, F being field. So the field wire goes directly from the F terminal on the voltage regulator uh, directly to the field on the, on the alternator. And then the battery terminal goes all the way up to the eyelid on the battery terminal. The next two wires are the uh, green with a uh, red stripe and then the uh, yellow with the white hash marks on them. The green with the white, the green with the red stripe, should have 12 volts on it when the key is on. Now, typically in the old tractors, the S was always the stator. You'd connect the S to the stator on the generator, but apparently uh, Ford must have changed this. They used that apparently as a signal line from the ignition to tell the, the thing to start charging. Um, the other terminal is the A, which goes to the battery positive. So if we follow this yellow terminal, you can see it comes into a splice right here. And this is the fusible link for the alternator so that the alternator output's fused. So this A terminal has 12 volts at all times. The S terminal is switched 12 volts uh, from the ignition. And then the F terminal is the field uh, on the alternator, which comes over here. The other terminal on here, the I, is an instrument, and that would be used for charging idiot light uh, on the dash. So if you follow those connections, uh, Pretty simple, uh, you should have a fully charging alternator. You might be wondering what this little pigtail is on here, and that is for a noise suppression capacitor. And uh, I have another Ford alternator uh, from an 85 gas, and this is the capacitor it went to, and right before I pulled out the video camera, the wire came out of the capacitor, so I would imagine that one wasn't doing much. Uh, but if you are charging, and you have a lot of static or noise coming through your radio, uh, you might uh, need to add one onto the, the A terminal on the, uh, on the voltage regulator there. So hope that helps. Uh, best of luck. See ya.